Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in October. If you didn't know, I love ebooks, I love ebook hauls, digital hauls, whatever you want to call them, I love them. So I got all of these books for free last month, so I'm going to dive right on in and tell you about these books. The first book that I downloaded was Before He Was Her Headmaster by Chloe Maine. This is now $2.99 to purchase or it is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited as well if you have Kindle Unlimited. My one night stand? He's sitting behind the headmaster's desk. We met at a truck stop, the chemistry was immediate, and we both do something out of character. One night, no explanations. The next day, I arrive at my new private school. Now, I'm the off-limits forbidden temptation Sebastian Craig can't forget, and we both try our best to behave. It works for a few weeks until our secret cravings come tumbling out in the library after hours. How will we keep our private connection hidden until the end of term? I want to be his sweet girl forever, but the age gap and responsibility of his job might be too much to overcome. Normally, I do not like student-teacher romances because it kind of skeeps me out a little bit, um, but I feel like I can suspend my disbelief for this one because I feel like the heroine is older. She, I think she's 18 if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, hopefully I can suspend my disbelief for this one and it's not cringy or creepy to me. <laughs> then I have an anthology. Um, it's called Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by a bunch of authors. We have M. Robinson, Pam Godwin, Claire Contreras, Katie Roberts. That's why I downloaded this in the first place. Jenica Snow, Sky Warren, Amelia Wilde, Maria Louise, M. O'Keefe. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know that. I'm so sorry. Theodora Taylor, Tam Mar Sam Mariano, Sienna Snow, Gianna Darling, Alta Hensley, and Jade West. Uh, this is still currently free to download if you want to download it, but it is like a bunch of short holiday stories written by all of these wonderful romance authors. Then I downloaded Beast in the Cage, a sci-fi alien romance by Tammy Walsh. This is available to purchase for 99 cents or you could get it off of Kindle Unlimited. What happens when an alien slave master gets greedy? After being thrown into cages to pleasure brutal alien fighters, I'm broken, a mere shell of who I used to be. I'll be used and forced to do the monster's bidding. It's too much to expect a male to watch over me. Then the beast claims me. When he touches me, I yearn for more. When he kisses me, I surrender in gratitude. And when he makes me fly, I soar higher than ever before. But there's a problem. In exchange for my release, I've already made a deal with the warden to get impregnated with the beast's baby. How can he love me when I'm betraying his deepest wishes? I love a good alien romance and this one sounded so good. I needed, I needed to read this one. Then I have um, The Office Party by Whitney G. This is available to download for $2.99 or you could get it off of Kindle Unlimited. Um, I love Whitney G. So anytime I see a book of hers for free, I immediately download it. I can't believe that I pulled my boss's name for our company's annual Secret Santa tradition. As the devil incarnate, this infuriating cocky bastard never gives us the holidays off. And he honestly expects us to be grateful for his generous alternative the office party. It's a mandatory all expenses paid trip for two weeks to a surprise luxury resort where we will still have to work 12 to 15 hours a day. So I put in 0% effort into this gift. I tear the tag off whenever my sister gives me at a $5 Amazon gift card and hand it off to him. It's not until my sister sends me a text that I realize how terrible that decision was. So this is a text from her sister that said, that's Georgia. Why haven't you sent me a LOL about the... <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna read that. That's not PG. You can go read the, the rest of the summary for that. She basically gave her boss accidentally a naughty gift. <laughs> that sounds really funny. I think I know a bunch of my friends who have read this book and really enjoyed it, so I can't wait to dive on into this one. Then I have another anthology. We have a Friends to Lovers anthology by Kate and Nolan. There's three stories in here, Bring It On Home, Let It Be Me, and Know Me Well, and these are all Friends to Lovers romances. This is still available to download for free if you'd like to go on and get it. I love Friends to Lovers, so of course I downloaded this as soon as possible. I then have Bad Dream, a dark dream prologue novella by Gianna Darling. Uh, this is still available to download for free. Bianca is trying to survive in the small Texas town. Her only goal, to keep her younger brother healthy. Everything changes when Tiernan shows up at her mother's door in a suit and tattoos. His dark world is all consuming, but she doesn't want his money or his secrets until her mother dies. Then she has no choice but to turn to the only person who can help. Honestly, just downloaded this because it was a free Jenna Darling. 
and I love Gianna Darling, so if you want a free Gianna Darling, here you go. <laughs> then I have Forever Lies by Jill Ransover. This is a mafia romance that is still available to download for free. Stuck in an elevator with the most gorgeous man I'd ever seen. Who thought that kind of thing actually happened? This man wasn't just attractive. He was animal magnetism personified. He was every crush and craving, each desire and fantasy all rolled into one. The problem? There was something sinister lurking behind that tempting facade, something dark and ruthless. Luca Romano locked his sights on me the moment those elevator doors closed. I couldn't escape him, no matter how hard I tried. There was a mutinous side of me that didn't want to run, as if I ever had the choice. This sounds good. I'm trying to find like mafia books that other people haven't been talking about just because I want to read something new that I haven't heard about before and I feel like maybe this will be it. It has pretty good ratings so. Next I have Office Hours by Isla Chiyu. Chiyu. This is still available to download for free. This is only 40 pages long <laughs> so very short. Myra knew it was a bad idea to plagiarize her paper so when she gets caught by her professor she expects to get expelled but unfortunately or fortunately, Professor Murray has other ideas in mind for the student he's always desired. So this is more of a college romance. I'm fine with student-teacher relationships if it's a college thing. There are older people. Hopefully I really like this one. And if, I, if you want to download a really quick novella, here's another one for you. <laughs> Next I have Cocky Earl by Annabelle Anders. This is still available to download for free. Compelled by a losing hand of cards, the Earl of Westerly has promised to court the only daughter of the American Whiskey King. And as a man of honor, the Earl woos her wholeheartedly. But as time passes, it becomes apparent that luck's been with him all along because when he lost that night at cards, he may have just won the love of a lifetime. Miss Charlie Jackson didn't want to sail to England. The British are stuffy, arrogant, and think far too highly of themselves, particularly the ones who are first to them as lords. She has no interest in society or having a season. All she wants to do is learn about and taste Scottish whiskey until that is she gets a taste of the Earl of Westerly. I mean that sounds good. I really like the romance books. I've read a few of them where it talks about like uh whiskey businesses and wineries and just like the production of all those things. I don't know that's that's like something I really like in romance books. The cover isn't really doing it for me, but I hope the story inside is pretty good. <laughs> Next I have Collie Jolly, a sweet holiday romance by Lee Landry. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99. A sunny dog trainer, a grieving New Orleans photographer, the unruly pup that brings them together. Ash has never owned a dog, much less trained one, but she's not about to let that little detail stop her, especially during the holiday season, from applying for this dog training job. Her new gig is the perfect way to survive the recession while she's strolling the festive streets of New Orleans with a cute pooch. The biggest challenge? Healing a growing attraction to the stunning shut-in of a boss. When her girlfriend died a year ago, Madison found herself overwhelmed by grief and her girlfriend's rambunctious puppy. Now the dog is an unmanageable, attention-starved reminder of everything Madison lost. She's still afraid to face the world, but her vibrant new dog trainer with the help with the help of a furry sidekick is determined to bring light laughter and Christmas cheer back into Madison's life. This is cute. So this is a sapphic romance. I thought this was cute. Like, <laughs> it sounded cute. So of course I downloaded it. So if you want a female, female romance, I guess this one is definitely one to download if it interests you. Next I downloaded The Bride of Dr. Franklin Stein. <laughs> This is available to purchase for $2.99 or you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Love is hard when you're green. Dr. Franklin Stein's love life has been in a rut ever since he fell into a vat of ex experimental dye he created. Now he's green from head to toe, unable to go out in public without causing a stir. Franklin spends his days and nights working in a lab to reverse his condition. After all, what woman would want a green husband? But when the reclusive scientist receives an invitation to a Halloween party, it's a chance to go out of town and be treated like a normal man. Becky Jensen became an internet sensation after a video of her being left at the altar went viral and holds little hope to ever finding Mr. Right. Socially awkward and more than a little afraid of being recognized as the infamous crying bride, Becky finds herself drawn to the man in the jolly green giant costume. <laughs> she strikes up a conversation hoping to hand it off with a fellow wallflower. With a few corny puns and a flaming pumpkin, Franklin charms Becky. But when two people are keeping secrets from each other, can the bond between them survive beyond one magical Halloween night? Or does Becky have what it takes to accept Franklin, green skin and all, and become the bride of Dr. Franklin Stein? I downloaded this because of its pure hilarity sounding. Like that sounds hilarious. 
he accidentally dyed his entire body. That is hilarious. <laughs> and lastly, I downloaded Will and Patrick Wake Up Married, serial episodes one through three by Letta Blake and Alice Griffiths. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $4.99. Yeah, there's just three serials in here. I don't really know what it's talking about. I think two strangers, Will and um, Patrick, end up getting married one night uh, in Vegas. Um, there's three different volumes in here, so I don't want to read the specific volumes just in case I might spoil the other ones. But anyways, there you have it. Those are the books that I ended up downloading for free last month. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you don't feel like talking about that in the comments down below, leave me a blue heart emoji. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.